Hi everyone, Mr. Fitz here with a flute and um, what we're doing today is we're going to be looking at the audition for the green belt which is the one after the orange. So for those of you that are interested in doing that I figured I'd give you a little bit of a guidance as to how to go about it. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that you understand how to play the note that's found in line 36. Okay, For a flute it happens to be an A but for other instruments it's different notes depending upon the key that you're in. Um, the fingering is shown there, okay, right underneath it. And so the first thing you want to do is just play that note. So you play it, make sure you get a good sound on it. Okay, and that's basically the pitch for a flute. Um, and then what I would recommend you do is before you go on to the, the audition, which is line 39, is practice some of the songs before it. And I always like to start with number 36. Now, one of the things that um, students sometimes have difficulty with is not the notes, but the rhythm. So I always recommend saying the rhythm first. If you can sing it on pitch, that's great. But if not, just say the ta's uh, and, um, you know, say the rhythm to it while you tap your foot. So here's what I mean. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so hopefully you can see this here. There we go. Good. Okay, so here I go. I'm going to tap my foot four times to count myself in. Ta 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 rest ta 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 Okay now assuming that you can say it like that either sing it or say it um then that exercise is not too difficult to play because it only uses three different pitches. So it's just getting you used to using that note. So I'll play that for you now. And you can make that fermata as much longer or as you want, as long as you tap the four beats, freeze your foot on the upbeat of the fourth beat, and then hold it. Okay? All right. Uh, one other thing I want to mention, <clears throat> which is not an issue for the flute, has to do with key signature. In number 37, if you play an alto saxophone, you're going to notice that the sharp sign that they give you is found in the beginning, right after the treble clef sign. And as a matter of fact, let me grab a saxophone book, if I got one. Oh, it's my lucky day. Look at this. All right, so. So for you people that play the saxophone, <clears throat> the note in 36 is called F sharp. Uh, they can put the sharp right before the note. They call that an accidental. When they give you an accidental, it's good just for the rest of the measure. So notice they have to keep giving you the F sharp throughout this entire song. Another way to do it is with what they call the key signature. This sharp sign here makes all Fs automatically F-sharp. Even though it's on the top F line, it affects every F. Now, in Sweetly Sings the Donkey, the second note is an F, but because of the key signature, it's an F-sharp. Okay, So you just kind of watch out for that. All right, so then what you do, time to go back to flute. Then what you're going to do is you're going to do the same process with Crusader's March. Um, <clears throat> this has a repeat on it. I'm not going to do the repeat right now for just keeping it a little bit shorter. But again, the idea you want to do is you want to say the rhythm first and tap your foot. Always tapping your foot. Here I go. Ta, 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 rest. And again, I'm skipping the repeat. So assuming that you can say it, then you stand a good chance of being able to play it. Now again, you have different pitches. You have to have your fingers working correctly, so it takes a little practice. Here it goes.
that's the song. You may have noticed that I kind of squeaked a little on a couple of notes there. That sometimes happens. Um, the idea is when you're playing for performance, you want to just keep going through. Even if, like, what happened to me happens, you just keep playing. Keep the rhythm. That's the key thing. All right, so I hope that helps you when you're working on this file, that procedure. It'll help you to get it done.